All right, all right, all right. Hello, folks. Today we are going to be doing our fourth episode of our little Oni Rim campaign here, and we have in front of us the Towers expansion for Oni Rim. So, how this thing plays is we are going to have these cards called Tower cards that are going to be just uh, in our normal hand of Oni Rim. And uh, basically what these things do is they're going to serve as location cards just like these normal ones right here. However, these tower cards, they don't get played to the Dream Labyrinth. They actually get played to a separate labyrinth right above the Dream Labyrinth. That's the Tower Labyrinth. And how these things work is throughout the game, at the end, uh, along with getting all of the eight doors that come with the normal game of Onirim, you're going to be trying to get four towers, all of different colors, within the same row. Now, that sounds a little simple, but <laughs> it's not that simple, uh, because these tower cards, as you can see, they have the same symbols as the other location cards, and you actually cannot match the same symbols together, all right? So it's just kind of kind of like the location cards. Uh, so like when I place a tower inside my tower labyrinth, I cannot place it sun to sun. However, some of these tower cards have a completely blank side, and I can just pop whatever I want into there. Okay, so that's what we're going to be trying to do before the game ends. However, we are also going to be affected by these nightmare cards. So when a nightmare occurs, you're going to resolve it normally with your other cards in the Dream Labyrinth, but you also have to destroy one tower of your choosing, all right? No matter if you have a straight uh, tower pattern. So like, I would draw this nightmare right here, I would resolve it with my cards in my hand, maybe I discard five cards from my hand, and then I have to destroy one of these towers right here, okay? So let's say I chose to destroy this green tower right here. What would happen then is the other towers that are not connected, they're going to slide on over and they must be able to connect with the tower that I just destroyed, all right? So this is, this is completely fine because we've got a sun to a blank side right here. So that's how the nightmare cards affect the towers. However, what you can do is you can trigger something called a false destruction. So if you don't want to destroy your towers, let's say I've got this, uh, this good tower going on right here, and I don't want to destroy any of it, I would instead of discarding this nightmare, I would just shuffle it back into the main deck, all right? So it actually does not go away. It's just gonna stay, but I get to keep my towers. However, these towers don't just have one use, they also have two uses that you can use in your hand. So as you can see here, these towers, they have a number at the bottom, and what you can do is when you have these in your hand, instead of playing the tower to the tower maze, you can discard it and draw the top number of cards from the deck, shown right here, and when you do this, you actually don't have to discard a card like you do with a prophecy, all right? So I could, you know, look at the top five cards of the deck with this one, or I could look at the top three cards of the deck with that one, all right? So that's pretty neat. So they're kind of multi-purpose cards, and um, you'll just see how they play through the playthrough. It's a very simple expansion. There's not a lot of rules to memorize. Uh, it's just, you know, another win condition you have to get to with the two mazes that you have. So let me shuffle up this deck real quick and then we'll get to playing. All right, so we got our shuffled deck right here and let's draw our first five cards. Five. All right, let me shuffle this back in. Okay, so we've got a starting hand right here. We have a bit of blues that we could go for. We have a green tower in our hand, and uh, we have a green sun and a red key. So let me take a look here. I think I'm going to start out the game by placing my tower into the tower labyrinth, and then I'm going to just redraw my hand. And look at that, we have a green sun. So we can either go for a blue or a green. And since I've had such an abundance of greens right now on this <laughs> first few turns, I know it, it doesn't actually mean anything, but let's just go for the green. What the hey? All right, 
I'm gonna draw back up. And look at that, we got a green key. Let's just go straight for that, uh, that green door. Let's just use that key to our advantage. And look, we got it right there, all right? The thing about <laughs> looking through this deck is some of the tower cards, they kind of look like door cards. So it, it's, it, it makes shuffling through it a, a little harder. Let's just set this door card aside, uh, give some space for our towers to grow. All right, and we'll draw up to five cards. And look at that, we got another green uh, sun. <laughs> uh, but we won't be needing that. So we've got kind of a nice spread for reds here. And uh, I'm just going to place down that red moon. And if we don't get a red, uh, and if we get a blue, uh, then I think we'll go for blues, actually, this time. So let's put down our red. Oh, and we got a tan card. Well, I don't really know what to do right now. So let me just discard this green. Let's see where, uh, where the deck takes us. I hope it's not a nightmare. Okay. All right, we got a tan. However, my likelihood of getting the blues is much greater than getting those tan cards. So you know what? I'm going to try for blues. All right, and we got a blue key. So we could potentially get that blue door. Uh, yeah, so let's try it out right here. If we get a nightmare, we'll just use this, uh, this red key right there. Oh, and we got a blue moon. What an unlucky draw. <laughs> we had to use that key for what? Nothing. Um, but yeah. Let's use our uh, blue sun over here, and let's get that blue door. Okay, so we just searched our deck for the blue door, and now we just gotta shuffle up. All right, and we're going to draw up to five cards. We have a red sun right there, so, hmm. It's interesting that we haven't got our tower cards yet. However, there are only 12 tower cards in the deck anyway. You know what, I think I'm going to use this blue moon to, to break up the uh, the sun so I can go for either the red or the tan. Oh, and look at that. I got my red tower card. So just out of interest of, you know, building my towers out here, I'm going to play this right up to here and get that little nasty spread of <laughs> sun and moon out of the way. And we'll draw back up. Oh, and we got a blue sun. So we started on blues, but I don't know if we're actually going to get a blue uh, in the future. So let's just try going for reds, because that's, you know, that's always a safe bet. <laughs> All right, we got a green moon. Go for that red key. Oh, we got our tan door, but we'll put that in limbo. Oh, and a tan key. All right, so let me just shuffle this right back in. Okay. So we've got a blue door and we've got a green door. I know I could go for these tans in the futures, but I really want to finish that red um, before anything else. So I could discard this green. However, we have already discarded a green card. So let's discard this blue sun right here. See what we get. Oh, we get a green tower. Okay, so you know what? I'm actually going to use the tower power. <laughs> nice little rhyme there right here. And we'll discard that. And we will take a look at the top three cards. That's what it says right there. Three. Oh my goodness. So this deck is definitely telling us to go tan. <laughs> Let's grab this tan tower right here. Is there anywhere I could actually place any of these? So I can't place that there. And I can't place that there. And I can't do that or that. So I'm going to have to use some of these for prophesizing, I guess. You know, let's scrap the red. Let's just go directly for the tans. <laughs> that seems to be a simpler, uh, a simpler uh, way of getting to victory. I'm a little sad that we can't go for our reds immediately, but you know what? We've got two of these tower cards in our hand, and we've got tan sun right there, and I always like getting those uh, tan doors out of the way. All right, put that tan door right there, and then we'll draw back up to five. Okay, so we've got a red tower. Well, let's just, uh, let's put our red tower here just in case we get a nightmare and we're going to have to trigger a destruction. All right, there we go. We got a red card and I feel like using this, uh, tan key to prophesize a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that. You know what? I'm going to discard this, uh, this tan tower card actually to do some prophesizing. All right. So we've got a tan moon, <laughs> a red moon, and a green moon right here. This is a little nerve-wracking because we have so many options, you know. There's some games where you have little options, but, you know, that's good in some way because then you know exactly what to go for. 
I don't know what to go for right now. <laughs> uh, but let's just, yeah, let's keep that green on top there. And, I mean, we'll have the moons to draw in the future. So, yeah, let's take that green and let's try to go for a green sun. Draw that. And then we're going to have to do something right here. I don't want to discard this tower. I want to keep it in my hand. So why don't we prophesize uh, with this key right here? Five. Oh, no nightmares. This is not good. <laughs> but let's see. So we've got this blue tower right here. I actually kind of want a nightmare because I want, I definitely want a destruction because these cards are just uh, flipping me out uh, right now. <laughs> Not a lot of options to, to go with. All right, I'll get rid of the red sun since there are so many opportunities to get red sun in the future. And I forgot to put this uh, uh, green, green sun at the top. Okay, and I wonder what card this is. This is the green sun. So let's play it into our labyrinth. This should be the red key. And then we've got the green moon right there. Excellent. Okay, so on the door front, we are doing pretty good. However, on the tower front, oh, we are not doing so hot. So I'm really wishing we can get a four of something right there so we can destroy that red tower. I'm also concerned we haven't gotten a nightmare yet because that means they're going to come back and completely take us over in that second half of the game. So it's going to be brutal. Okay, and we'll drop to five. Like a green tower. What is going on, man? Okay, so is there any way I could possibly get this out? Because uh, we've got those stupid suns lining up the bottom there. This this formation is not that great. Um, but let me prophesize because I feel like we've got some nasty, nasty nightmares coming up. So let me do that. Four, five. There we go. We've got a nightmare. <laughs> get out of here, little guy. All right. So I can easily get that red door right there. But let me take a look. We've got a blue f a blue five. And if I put this blue five down, I'm going to be able to put this uh, this tan tower down that I have. And I'd also be able to connect the green to it just in case I get a destruction. So yeah, let's make sure we get this right here. So we'll just leave our deck as is. And we are going to draw. All right. And we'll go for our sun, moon, sun with the red cards. Uh, moon and sun. Okay, so we've got our first red door of the game. This late, too. <laughs> that usually never happens. All right, let's drop to five cards. Oh my goodness, no nightmares yet. I am sitting so pretty up here. <laughs> I am really nervous. Okay, so I think the move, definitely let's play this blue tower up there in the tower section. And we'll drop to five cards. We've got a red moon. What is going on? Uh, we can go for the blue door since we have these two uh, blue suns. So let's try for that. And yep, it was bound to happen, folks. Okay, so first of all, we've got this nightmare here. So we're going to have to destroy a tower. And I mean, these are both equally the same because they're going to have a moon on that side anyway. So let's get rid of this one right here. It doesn't really matter. And then, so we can either discard our hand, which has some pretty good towers in it or discard the top five and I think what we are going to do is we're going to discard the top five all right so one two uh oh three oh my goodness that was an awful decision we are not going to get our tan door what did I just do to myself I am dumb okay but anyway uh let's uh let's put our nightmare into there with all of that and discard it and then oh I feel another nightmare coming up nope uh, it's just a tan sun. Okay, so let's go for our blue door. All right. Uh, you know what? Okay, well, so I'm going to play this tan tower into the tower section. Drop to five cards. I was really expecting a nightmare there, folks. <laughs> you do not know how nerve-wracking that draw was. Um, okay, so let me place this tower just in case we get destruction, because I don't want to destroy anything. Drop to five. Oh, and we got a blue moon. Look at that. Wow. Okay, so <laughs> let me play the blue moon. Please, no nightmares. I'd love to get this blue door. A green, green moon. Okay, let's rush for our blue moon. All right. 
Um, I mean, blue, blue door. <laughs> Let's rush for our blue door. Okay, so let me consolidate. And I think the obvious is to try and go for the tans. Uh, and we can use that green moon since we already have all our green doors. Oh, we've got a red key. Excellent. Okay, so let's use this green moon right here and a nightmare. Hmm. I'm gonna need this red key for something because I don't know how many red keys I've used. I think I'll discard using this, uh, this red key, but that might not have been great. We'll see how that works. Okay, gotta draw up to two cards. Oh, uh, we triggered a nightmare, so we have to destroy one of these towers right here. Sorry, forgot about that. Okay, and it looks like we have a three blue. We've got some red cards and some tan cards. So I'm most likely going to be able to go for those reds. So let me use this blue to actually check the top three of the deck. Three. Okay, so, well that's good because we can go for a tan card and then uh, the red cards aren't gonna be hard to get at all. So let's, uh, let, 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 let's go for that. Okay, draw up to five. We've got our tan moon, and I am not getting rid of this hand for the life of me. Okay, we've got our red sun, tan moon, no nightmares, please. Oh, we've got a red door, yep. And a blue sun, all right. Okay, so let's just shuffle this red door back into the deck real quick. All right, we're safe with our five, and let's play our final tan card to get that tan door. Okay, and then draw back up to five. And we've got a blue key. That's great, because we can do some prophesizing. But should I try to get one of these red suns out of the way? Because I kind of want more in my deck right now. No, my instinct tells me prophesize. So let's prophesize right now for five. Wow, look at that. We actually didn't get any nightmares. However, we are going to need something to break up this, uh, this tan sun right here. Let me consolidate the deck. And okay, so let's see. So I don't want to use the green... Oh wait, but if I do use the green key, we can immediately just rush to the end because we've got our red uh, red moon and our two red suns right here. Oh yeah, I, okay, we're totally going to win this one. <laughs> so let me discard one of these cards and just arrange it so I get the, uh, get the moon... Uh, no, the key... Sorry, the key, then the moon, and then these two cards right here, which I won't actually need. Okay, so let's draw up to here and place our key. I'm gonna draw up to here and place our red sun. Draw another card, place our red moon, and we're safe. Yep, yeah, because that's the blue sun. And bam! Look at that! Look at that right there! We got our final red door, and oh my goodness, we still have so many cards left in our deck. Let me just count real quick how many cards we have uh, in our deck at the end because this is pretty thick. All right, so we ended the game with 20 cards left in our deck. I think that is a record uh, for me. That was a really nice and breezy game of Oni Rim. Uh, usually I get really screwed over uh, with these tower cards. Uh, wow, I'm, I'm riding off that high. Um, we're gonna do a little cleanup and then we'll get into this tower expansion. Okay, so wow, I can't believe our luck in that game. That was a, uh, that was a, uh, that was one of those nice, uh, nice and easygoing games of Oni Rim that you occasionally get. That uh, <laughs> they just really make me happy. But uh, anyway, so the tower expansion. What do I think of it? I really love the tower expansion. It's um, it's kind of similar to the Glyphs expansion in that it's going to add more things that you're going to need. However, it's not as hard as the Glyphs expansion because it's you're only going to need to sort of get that one formation of the towers and then you're kind of sound for the game because you'll just be destroying stuff. And also having the other the other power that the towers have where you can like discard them and look at the four cards, I think that's just really neat. It, 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 it certainly, it, it makes the game a little easier uh, in a way, but uh, you can really get hard with that luck sometimes with the nightmares. So there's definitely that that's going on. Uh, I think we, we got the good end of the stick. But yeah, uh, in a harder game, there are definitely more decisions to make that arise with those towers, and it just adjusts really well to whether you have, you know, a good game 
or a hard game. And I just think it's probably, it, it's definitely my favorite expansion in the box, just due to how simple that sort of, uh, that new win condition is. All right, so our next expansion in Oni Rim is going to be the Happy Dreams and Dark Premonitions. Ooh, this one is a tough one. Um, so we're going to have quite a doozy of an episode uh, next time. But until then, we had this nice breezy game of Oni Rim with the Towers expansion. Really happy about that. Uh, and I will see you folks in the next episode. All right, have a great day.